What's up guys, welcome back to another one. There's an AI powered service called Synthesia and it has a really, really crazy feature because it can create an actual clone of yourself that can kind of act on your behalf and even imitate your facial gestures and so on. Now, technically it is a bit more than that. They offer an entire online platform which utilizes AI to help you create better videos. Their idea is to kind of outsource the editing process to AI eventually. The company hasn't sponsored me to say good things or anything like that, but they allowed me a trial access to their service. The site has a bunch of cool features, so I'm going to show you the coolest ones first. So one of the basic functions is it can screen record. Second, it can tap into a library of media and music to use in your projects and it has pre-made video templates that can be customized. And the last feature is the avatar. So basically you can copy and paste text and then Synthesia kind of allows you to borrow somebody's face that will read it out for you in multiple languages. But it doesn't stop here because you can also create an AI clone of yourself, which the company calls a custom avatar. So basically I don't have to record myself anymore but I could instead let a computer generate a video for me by just copy pasting a script, which is insane. Now you might ask yourself like, who is this suited for? And the most common use case I can think of are like kind of explainer videos where you use a lots of B-roll or screen recordings, product demos and that kind of stuff. I also think it's probably better suited to kind of simulate a studio environment and not so much for like outdoor stuff like vlogs and so on. But if I wanted to make a YouTube channel where I explain stuff and I don't necessarily want to show my own face or I don't have the means to record myself all the time, then this could be a super convenient alternative. Now let's have a look at the platform and I give you a quick overview. Now, once you log in, there is an editing interface which I want to outline real quick. So on the right side, you can select and switch around the avatar and choose a dude that you like. So just maybe this one right here. This one looks cool. And usually it's on a plain white background, but you can also customize that part and upload like a background video where you normally record, for example, to make it a little bit more realistic. Now on the bottom, you can basically copy and paste a script that your avatar will then read out for you. So you can select multiple different English voices right here. And the best thing is it supports different languages as well. So I think it knows like a hundred different languages and again, multiple voice patterns in those languages, which is pretty insane. All right, so here's the feature you've been all waiting for the custom avatar feature. So can this software imitate my face and can it fool you? So I got my custom avatar selected and I will explain exactly how you can create it in a little bit. So first let's upload a background that I recorded in a setting that I typically like to use for my videos. Now let's copy paste a generic script. Hi, I am not Eric. I am a computer generated avatar. You can feed me text and I will help you to visualize it. Welcome to my channel. Here we talk about travel, photo and video editing. Now I showed it to my friends and the reaction was like, wait, that wasn't you? So please let me know in the comments whether I managed to fool you or if it was super obvious and feel free to share this video with someone who might find this software interesting. Now I guess at the current state of this technology, people would probably figure it out eventually, but let's say you use it as a small picture in picture on the you know side of the screen in an explainer video, I think it would be hardly noticeable and nobody would ever you know second guess it and think like, oh, this is actually not a real guy. So let me show you an example where I kind of imitate the stuff that I do here on my channel and instead let the avatar explain how to edit in Premiere Pro, for example. Today I'm reviewing a crazy piece of software. Let's open up Premiere Pro. On the right hand side, you'll see the Lumetri panel, which we can use to make modifications to our image. Now everything you saw was screen recorded using Synthesia, 
but I modified the colors a tiny bit in Premiere Pro afterwards. Another super cool feature is that you can switch up the languages. The Synthesia software speaks more than 100 languages, so you could use this to get your content translated and then localize it for a particular language in a different country, for example. Bonjour, je m'appelle Eric. J'habite à Paris et j'adore fromage. Now you might ask yourself, like, how is this avatar created? Good question. You have to record yourself in an environment that is well illuminated. And you will then upload that footage into the website and the company will then require about 10 days to process everything. And then you can use their kind of like deep fake technology to animate the avatar and imitate your facial movement and so on. So the way I did it, I recorded two minutes of script the website gave me in front of a green screen that I purchased on Amazon. I then uploaded this onto the Synthesia website and then they will plug it into their facial recognition software to work their magic and 10 days later you can use it. It is a bit of a garbage in garbage out principle so if you record yourself in say like very bad lighting conditions or with a background that is too busy or a hairstyle that is not like super suitable for a green screen then of course the software will kind of struggle. Now let's talk about pricing. The personal plan costs about 30 US dollars per month. The custom plan is in my opinion where the magic happens because it gives you access to that custom avatar feature. I think it's a pretty common price for services like that. Plus products and services in the camera space are always relatively expensive. So if you want to use this instead of like say hiring an external videographer or invest in camera equipment, then I think it's probably a reasonable alternative to consider. Now, the only thing that bothers me in the Synthesia software that it uses another person's voice. It would be really cool if you could feed it your own voice and then the avatar learns and will also imitate your actual human voice. And that is why I had combined it with another tool which is called Descript, which is a text to voice software that I had trained to imitate my voice. I did a separate review on them, so I'll link it somewhere on the screen. Generally, I think the possibilities are insane if you combine it with other AI software like ChatGPT and so on. So what is the verdict? I think this is a super interesting tool for people who create videos and want to blank out the complex part about technology. I personally like to edit my videos the manual way and use a bit of a different aesthetics on my channel as I prefer more casual outdoor environments and so on over being in a proper studio environment. So I think my channel might not be the perfect example for this use case of this software. However, I personally think it is a super powerful tool to massively shorten the workflow if you're doing say an explainer channel here on YouTube or you are in need to generate lots of videos for your business and just need a face and voice but don't want all the hassle to either hire a videographer or purchase expensive camera equipment for thousands of dollars then record everything manually. Personally I am amazed to see that this is possible. Yes the avatar is not a real human being but I think it really manages to fool people at the first glance plus this technology is getting better and better over time so I can really imagine this being a common way to produce content in the future. Now on this channel I normally speak about travel, photo and video content, so if that's your thing then feel free to subscribe and I will catch you on one of my next ones.